When it comes to making a responsible energy decision for your family and the planet, choose clean natural gas from Atmos Energy. Natural gas is safer and more reliable than other energy solutions and can reduce your home's carbon emissions by up to 45%. By using less total energy than other energy sources, natural gas lowers your impact on the environment. It's just another way that Atmos Energy makes your life better. Atmos Energy, your natural gas company. You work hard to protect what is precious. We stand beside you, behind you, with caring doctors and nurses who work at Blue Cross to keep you healthy. You can count on us to help you. Day. The Quarter Pounder with cheese. The perfect ratio of cheese to beef to cheese. Its inventor thought burger and then stopped thinking. What it lacks in frills, it makes up for in beef. The only thing that's fancy about it is the ketchup. It's everything you love about a burger and absolutely nothing else. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Hello and welcome to week five of the Coach Roger Cador Show. We are at the Embassy Suites Hotel. 4914 Constitution Avenue, Baton Rouge's newly remodeled Showcase Hotel. Coach, since last we were with our home audience, we get a long-awaited visit from our crosstown rivals, the Tigers of Louisiana State University. What was the mood of the team before the game, and how much did they relish the opportunity to have the number one team in the nation pay a visit to your field? I think the way they played and the, uh, the evidence of the score speak, speaks it all, speaks mm -hmm. volume. Mm -hmm. But more than the players, Clarence, for three hours, I saw something I had never seen in our fans. They were proud. It was a proud crowd of Southern Knights, mm -hmm. happy to see those young men play against the number one team in the country in the cross-time rivalry and did as well as they did. It made their heart feel. And everywhere I go nowadays, they are happy. And they are not talking about when. They were happy because how the kids represented themselves, the university, and what the older people staying for. What did you tell the team before the game and how much did you worry about the magnitude of that game overwhelming them? I, my talk was pretty darn simple. I said there aren't very many kids in America are ever going to play against a number one team. Right. That spoke volume because it's true. Mm -hmm. You know how many people at USC and UCLA never going to play they play, but they never play against a number one team. We got to play. And I said, you ought to represent yourself well because you'll be able to tell your kids and grandkids about it. From a coaching standpoint, what's harder? Trying to get a team up for a lackluster team or try to keep a team on an even keel when they're facing a David versus Goliath situation? They're both about equal, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Automatically, when you're playing someone uh, superior to your, 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 your situation, you play up. It's difficult to get coached and make kids come up to teams they think they could beat. Mm -hmm. it's a, this is why uh, people need trainers, because they're not motivated themselves to do it. That's why they get trainers to motivate them to do the extra work. And the thing that I can't understand with this group of young men, after have done doing what they did Tuesday against LSU, right. why wouldn't they play as hard as they could for the rest of their college career? It's bad for me, to be honest with you. Of course, now that's why they're kids and we're the adults. <laughs> Let's go to the highlights from Lee Hines Field, taking you all the way back to the Jaguars and the Tigers. Coach? But here's one young man wasn't afraid, a freshman from Ponchatoula, Louisiana, by the name of Tyler Robinson. He said, give me the ball, coach. Almost like David said against Goliath. Against Goliath yeah. Give it to me, I'll take him down. And boy, I tell you, he was the one guy after Coach Canaveri and I talked, I felt extremely comfortable because I said, here's this kid, he's not gonna, he's not gonna get above what he could do or below what he's gonna do. 
And I mean, you know, they kept making good pitches and, uh, you know, he kept us in the game. And, you know, this is the first run we scored. They're playing this kid fast at second, hadn't played second, and we found him. That's one thing about balls doing. They find guys who mm -hmm. shouldn't be in the, in the position. <laughs> And look at Tyler Robinson, kept making great pitches. Second and third with one out. And he made two, I mean, just make great pitches. And look at him walking off the mound, cool as could be. I mean, just as cool as a cucumber, or as, as Stuart Scott would say, cool, cool as, as the other, other side of the pillow. There you go. Yeah, he was there too, you know. And you know what, what he said to me, coach, thanks for giving me the ball against LSU. I mean, that's the ultimate compliment from a freshman. When we come back, it's segment two of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Stay close. The Coach Roger Cador Show is proudly sponsored by Shoppers Value Foods, formerly Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Eureka! What in tarnation? Let's go! Now go, Rush is on! The rush is on for Gold Rush from the lottery. Win up to $200,000. Get in the rush with Gold Rush from the lottery. Trust is the key that transforms strangers into friends. At Southern Teachers and Parents Federal Credit Union, we believe in lending a helping hand. Transforming your dreams into reality. Because with friends, you can do anything. Come on by and check out our competitive loan rates. We'll see your dreams come to life. Whichever loan, we have you covered. Hi, Coach Roger Kadar here. I know adversity, and when you need legal help, you need to find Fletcher now. Coach is always right. When you've been hurt, we can help. Lawyer up with Ralph, Richard, and Ryan. They know the law. I'm attorney Ralph Fletcher. Our law firm helps people every day. We can help you. Make sure you cover all your bases. Call Ralph, Richard, and Ryan, 888-8000 or findfletchernow.com. 888-8000. Welcome back for segment two of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Coach, in the LSU game, we played like we've not played all season long. What are you hoping that the team took away from that experience? Yeah, I. Yeah, I, I was hoping that they can take away that if you execute and you play with concentration and, and, and with confidence, you could play against anybody. Mm -hmm. Baseball is that unique game. Right. Where we could play against an LSU, the number one team. Football team and basketball team, that could never happen. Mm -hmm. But baseball is so uniquely created and designed, it allows team like Southern, uh, uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff to beat Mississippi State, right. Jackson State to beat the number one team UL in last year. So those things happen, and that's why you have to, baseball, you have to take it for what it's worth. A lot of people gave us less than a snowball's chance of beating LSU, and yet we took them to the wire. For all the young people watching this show right now, what's the life lesson they should learn from a game like the Southern LSU game? You should dream high, work hard, and believe in your ability. Mm -hmm. If you do those things, good things will happen. But you can't dream without work and work without be believing in yourself. Not being able to close the deal, something we've struggled with this year, something that goes all the way back 
into last season. Is it a mental thing, and can we coach our way out of this, or is this strictly an ability situation? Well, it's more uh, fundamental mm -hmm. than anything, because if Lance uh, Jones had played the ball correctly, right. as I fuss about it all the time, I tell him all the time, had he cor correctly played the ball, he catched the ball in center field. And we got one out with a man at first, and then Rafi could put him away. We're not good enough to give them those kind of opportunities. Right. Four outs, five outs. You're never going to beat good teams. Well, let's go back to Lee Hines Field, and we will roll the highlights again from the Tigers and the Jaguars. Now, here's one. He walked. This could be the seventh inning where he walks on one. And look a great. Now, what you didn't see on this, the inexperience of Robinson, uh, Matea playing short. He left his position too early. Had that not happened, we had a double play, okay? But when you play young people, right. mistake happened. Mm -hmm. And he, with him moving fast, it caused a problem. Now, here we are. We didn't give up. Here is a freshman getting a hit to, and then Lance Jones striking our bit with not a good swing on a ball. And then we get three consecutive walks in a row. Now, Clarence, I want you to watch it. Three conse consecutive walks. Right. And four, the last two was eight consecutive balls. Okay, and now uh, we get the one guy you want, you clean up, hit up. And then you watch this swing, and you will know why we can't win when you clean up, hit up, take that kind of swing with the bases loaded. There you go. Oh, my goodness. You see, so you, this is what the tape doesn't lie. When you tell right. kids when they're not doing something, this is what happened. Now, Rafi gets in, the first hit, is a sing up the middle. Now watch this. This is a catchable ball every day. Late jump in center field, bad angle. Now there it is. The ball he shouldn't have to jump for. Right. Again, you want to know why we lost? You just saw that in a nutshell. Now, this is a great play by Sergio Torres at first base. DJ didn't catch the ball where he can throw for it, but he cuts. Knowing the ball can't get home, we get a double play. And that's really when you see, you see some bright spots. Right. But it's not enough. Mm -hmm. You gotta do it every day. When we come back, another bright spot, Aaron Fulbright, a special correspondent. Stay with us. It's segment three of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Stay close. <laughs> you work hard to protect what matters most, your family, your life, your health. We stand behind you with caring doctors and nurses who work at Blue Cross to keep you healthy. Thank you for relying on us to help you. Protect every day. to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Hey coach, it sounds like savings to me. Yes, that and an easy Diamond Mazda buying experience. As easy as can be. Just go to your computer or your cell phone, go to diamondmazda.com, view all our inventory, new and pre-owned, apply for credit and get approved in seconds. Now that sounds easy, Jeremy. On airline highway or on the web, you know we'll, we'll be, be waiting, waiting for you. you. The Quarter Pounder with cheese. The perfect ratio of cheese to beef to cheese. Its inventor thought burger and then stopped thinking. What it lacks in frills, it makes up for in beef. The only thing that's fancy about it is the ketchup. It's everything you love about a burger and absolutely nothing else. ba da ba ba ba
Welcome back to segment three of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Time now for an inside look at the Office of Student Life. Joining us now is our special correspondent, Aaron Fulbright. Aaron? Thank you, Clarence. Going away to college is scary for students and parents, but having an administration, administration uh, staff that makes it easy and feel like you're at home is key. The Office of Student Life at Southern University does just that for its student and student athletes. Southern University's Office of Student Life is the go-to place for students on campus to feel like they are at home. The administration in Student Life sets an atmosphere that welcomes students and gains their trust. Dean of Students Marcus Coleman has made it his mission to be visible for his students and parents and to also be a supporter in his students' life. It helps us to build trust. I mean, when students see you at their events, at their programs, outside of the classroom, they know that you care about them. Uh, the more they see you, um, the more you can build trust with them. You know, faculty typically uh, interact with students inside in the classroom. Uh, we're their support mechanism before they walk in the classroom and, out, and as they walk out of the classroom door with their support mechanism for them. If they live in our campus in the dorms, they see us walking through the dorms. Um, if we have night activities, programs, parties, anything on campus, typically someone from the Office of Student Life is there. Dean Coleman and his staff have successfully managed everything for students socially on campus, from new student orientations, investment programs, and student government association. Um, the Office of Student Life um, composes um, student organizations and, and campus involvement, um, student programs, student activities, um, Greek life, um, new student orientation, leadership development. In a work day for Dean Coleman, there is no particular set schedule. Every day is different. And when it comes to student athletes, the senior administrators in student affairs and student life like to show their support and welcome these student athletes to campus. Well, one of the things I'm... Um, when I got here, I'm, I'm a sports fan, and so uh, both myself, um, also the Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs and Enrollment Management, we typically do not, we don't miss athletic events. We're there supporting our students, the student athletes see us. One of the best things about our office, we have a great relationship with all the coaches um, across all sports here. Um, they typically bring their recruits by our office. We talk about all the different ways that students can be active outside of athletics on campus. Um, given one of the best things about the office is that um, because we are responsible for new student orientation, we have a wealth of information to pass on to the students. To help ease the transition of parents dropping off their children to Southern, the Office of Student Life conducts a parent university orientation session in the summer. University. Um, a lot of times you get parents that don't want to let go of their kid and they want to come to orientation uh, with their student. As the student is going through their orientation program, we also have an orientation program that's running at the same time for the parents. And last year was the first year that we had that program it was a very successful program. We had uh, uh, very high attendance from parents um, and most parents seem to enjoy it. So it's something that we're gonna continue to do um, and it's worked well for us. Parents of Southern University students can rest assured that the Student Affairs and the, student and the Office of Student Life are here to support their children in all areas, making sure their matriculation is a success. Course, academics are always first and foremost in an academic, academic institution, um, but there is life outside of the classroom and that is the job of an Office of Campus Life and Office of Student Life. He stresses that his staff is visible on campus and he also wants to make student athletes um, a part of the student population as a whole and not feel left out. Back to you, Coach. Aaron, thank you. When we come back, it will be segment four of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Stay close. <laughs> Hi, Coach Roger Kador here. I know adversity, and when you need legal help, you need to find Fletcher now. Coach is always right. When you've been hurt, we can help. Lawyer up with Ralph, Richard, and Ryan. They know the law. I'm attorney Ralph Fletcher. Our law firm helps people every day. We can help you. Make sure you cover all your bases. Call Raph, Richard, and Ryan, 888-8000. Or find FletcherNow.com, 888-8000. Trust is the key that transforms strangers into friends. At Southern Teachers and Parents Federal Credit Union, we believe in lending a helping hand. Transforming your dreams into reality. Because with friends, you can do anything. 
Come on by and check out our competitive loan rates. We'll see your dreams come to life. Whichever loan, we have you covered. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tool, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep. Back to segment four of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Clarence, uh, Coach, listen to me. Conference play for the weekend. Texas Southern comes to town. Santos Saldivar gets the nod. Starts off strong, but runs into trouble after three good innings. Yeah, and the reason being we didn't give him any runs. Mm -hmm. It's tough to be perfect. Pitch, pitch with perfection. And we didn't do that. And Texas Southern really were aggressive. I have to give them in. Keep in mind, Texas Southern always played well here. I did tell the kids, they come to Baton Rouge and play well. Mm -hmm. Why do they play well in Baton Rouge? They got the media, the newspaper. They know they're going to be on TV. This never going to happen or anything written about them point. in Houston. Great point. It seems with our team that hitting is contagious, but not hitting seems to be <laughs> contagious as well. This is as bad as it gets when, I, when you look at the, the amount of bad at-bats we have. And I'm telling you, I try to just be patient. Mm -hmm. And kids want you to be patient with them. But how can you just sit there and accept that those kids will continue to take those kind of swings and expect us to do something good? And I mean, I just can't take it anymore. You talk about the actual numbers. The last 14 batters of game one were retired in order. There's no way you're going to win playing like that, Coach. No way. And, you know, but it was the at-bats. If you're taking good, solid at-bats, hitting the ball good, making an attempt to do it, no one is going to say anything. But everything is going to rise to the top when you're not taking good at-bats. And I'll be doing, if I'm going to let kids believe that they're going to give less than 100% mm -hmm. and accept mediocrity as the way for Southern University baseball. Not going to happen. Throughout the course of the season, we've seen bright spots here, bright spots there, bright spots in other places. But with the exception of the LSU and maybe one other game, we hadn't been able to put together the complete package in all phases of the game. From a coaching standpoint, how tough is it to watch the kids struggle in that regard, knowing that you've got a better product than that? Well, I don't need a, pr a complete package. I just need them to do better than they're doing. Mm -hmm. Because to do a complete package is awful difficult. Right. But you can do a lot better. Sometime in, in this game, if you can do 50% good at what you're doing, we're going to be very successful. Mm -hmm. But when you're doing tw 15 and 20, well, you have no chance. Is that one of the things about baseball that oftentimes leads to a kid giving less than 100%? I mean, there's a bigger margin for failure in baseball than just about any other sport. Do kids have a tendency to take that for granted somewhat? Well, I just think it's all about mindset. Mm -hmm. What is the mindset of my young people when they come to the park? Are they thinking about the team? And I tell them about the team is the most important thing. Just remember when Jesus sent out his apostles, he sent them out in twos mm -hmm. in case one fall, the other could pick them up. So team is relevant. It's important. And if you don't think about it, you have no chance of being successful. When we come back up to this edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show, Jesus and I will wrap <laughs> it all up. Stay with us. Uh. is on for Gold Rush from the lottery. Went up to $200,000. Get it.
Win in the rush with Gold Rush from the lottery. Hey, Coach, it sounds like savings to me. Yes, that and an easy Diamond Mazda buying experience. As easy as can be. Just go to your computer or your cell phone, go to DiamondMazda.com, view all our inventory, new and pre-owned, apply for credit, and get approved in seconds. Now, that sounds easy, Jeremy. On Airline Highway or on the web, you know we'll be waiting for you. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. <laughs> The Coach Roger Kador Show is proudly sponsored by Shoppers Value Foods, formerly Piggly Wiggly. Welcome back for the final segment of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. <laughs> Coach, after dropping the weekend series on the heels of that great effort against LSU, that's got to hurt. How does a team deal with this turnaround? Well, one thing about young people, Clarence, they're very resilient. Mm -hmm. They ain't thinking about losing. <laughs> I can tell you that they give less than whatever right. Right. about what happened against Texas Southern. They'll move forward with their life and do well. I'm telling you, I'm amazed how, they, how, how those kids are today. Midweek encounter, we hit the road, head up to Jackson State. I think it's a wonderful opportunity to win the two-time uh, defending uh, SWAG championship play there and see how we do against them. Quickly, how important is it that the Jaguar Nation not give up on this team? Well, if you give up on your... Southern belong to the Jaguar Nation community. You have to support them. Don't ever give up on them. They are yours and they are all you have. And, of course, we will be here each and every week throughout the course of the season to keep you abreast of your Jaguars. That's going to do it for us here. On behalf of our entire production crew and the coach, I'm Clarence Bugs. We'll see you next week with another edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Till then, go Jags.